Hello everyone, it's Elle. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a hair and makeup look inspired by the character of Christine Daae from The Phantom of the Opera. Now you may be wondering why on earth I've got this on my head. So I started off by curling all my hair with my corkscrew curler. Wonderful. So now we are on to makeup. I've got a real mishmash of different brands that I'm going to be going to be using. They are all cruelty free, which is how I like to live my life and live ethically. So without further ado, let's get started. Yay! So I started off by putting on some cream to get my face ready. And I'm going to start off with some number seven Hydra Luminous Dark Eye Con Circle Concealer. So I like to pop this under my eyes, but also kind of around my nose and kind of have it as a little base coat. From the foundation to get, to get on top of. So I'm just working around my nose, under my eyes. And I like to pop some kind of in around, under my eyebrows and around my eyes to really kind of make them pop out as much as I possibly can. Yeah. Oh, next to me, I've got my iPad with the kind of images and the board that I have, that I created to kind of give me inspiration for what I want to do. There we go. I'm going to start by just working that in now. I'm just going to do it where I'm just going to just pull it back outwards, there we go. Okay, next is foundation. I'm doing, I'm using a number seven essentially natural foundation it's wonderful and lightweight and it covers all skin types so number seven have a really great brand where they've got all sorts of wonderful colors and mixtures that would work for any skin shade so I'm just gonna pop that on top now and I want to make my skin look as well as flawless and as polished as I can so this is very much stage makeup which some say is a bit more well exaggerated if you see it up close in re in real life personally i i love it and i think that's the actor in me foundation on I'm going to pop some powder over it to help the foundation dry I'll just show you which one I use so I use I also use a number seven and I'm going to use this brush so I'll just dust this down to try and get out some of the pink from one of the blushes that I have which I'm going to use in this video so I'm just going to open this up this is what it looks like inside Dab lightly and just very gently just bring it all over just so it helps everything dry. Oh, I'm gonna love the faces you make when you're doing this stuff. Here we are. Next step is eyebrows. I 
and these are the products I'll be using. I'll be using this to shape my eyebrows a bit and then I'll be using this pencil and this palette here to fill them in. I recently had my eyebrows done while I had them waxed and tidied up so it's easier to, to shape them. Ooh, just dropped my brush. Now I'm going to move on to some rouge. So the rouge that I'm going to use, this is also from number seven. And I'm also going to use a little bit of this from, Re from Revolution and it's the Rose Kiss shade. I actually got this from Superdrug recently when I decided that I wanted to have a go at seeing if I could recreate the Duchess of Cambridge's wedding makeup from when she married Prince William back in 2011. Wow, 2011. Was it 2011? Yes, 2011. Wow, it's a real thing that that was 11 years ago now. So just gonna lightly dust it. I'm just gonna start very gently just going backwards and forwards like a windscreen wiper. And on the other side. I'm gonna pop that one down and just gonna do a very light light dose of this so I can just make my cheeks just pop out that little bit more. And I'm just gonna blend that in and I'm holding the very end of the brush to make it, to make the texture as light as possible. Right, the next thing I'm going, the next bit for me is eyes. So this is also from from number seven, and so is this one. As you can see, this is very very old. It's one of my oldest bits of makeup. But even though it's old and I've had it for a long time, it goes to show how used it it gets. And I've also got this. That's also from Revolution, which I also brought to kind of go with my pack on with the pack that I, I gathered so I could try and recreate the Duchess of Cambridge's look. So I'm just gonna open up. I'm gonna start off with these two colors here. So the white. And then once I've, I've popped it all over, I'm just going to take, I think, this one and a little bit more of this and just pop it in the corner here. Right, now that that bit's done, I'm going to now take this one 
which you might not be able to see very well. Where's the camera? There it is. And just pop it just underneath my eyebrows here and start drawing a bit of a shape. I'm not quite sure what this shape is, so if anyone <laughs> knows what it's called, then please leave it in the comment. But whenever I look at makeup looks, this is the shape that seems to be made with the eye with the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pop this on as like a base coat for this section and on here. And if you're doing wanting to do like a makeup look which looks very, very natural and as if maybe you're not wearing any makeup at all, then this is a really good one to use. And you can leave leave it there on the eyeshadow front. shades like this one and this one here. I might use a little, a little bit of this darky grey one as well. Now that that bit's done, I'm, I've just popped on the, the purple and I've also put a little bit of pink on on this side and also I've gone round it with white to kind of restructure it and just make sure that everything's effectively blended together. And I'm going to put, take this, my number seven palette, my very old number seven palette, and I'm going to put some silver on this bit here. And then we'll be going on to eyeliner, which I am quite nervous about because I am eyeliner is what the step that I find most difficult. You might have noticed me kind of turning my head this way toward parts of the videos. So that's just so I can refer back to my inspiration images, and also I've got my camera on so I can have like another mirror for what I'm doing. Do eyeliner, shall we? So for this, I'm going to use two different eyeliners. So I've got this Revolution eyeliner pencil, and I've also got this Sleek Makeup, which is Fierce Felt Liner. This one's quite old, so we'll just see how this one goes. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to do the bits inside my lid. So I'm going to put the pencil down and now I'm going to do 
the pen bit, which I'm a bit nervous about. So I think Christine has a very natural based eyeliner and it's very thin, which doesn't make it easy. So I'm gonna start off by just doing, creating like a little wave here with the point of the pen. Some of this I might turn to my other mirror here just so, because the screen's a little bit bigger. There we go, and the eyeliner surprisingly doesn't look too bad. I mean, if anyone has any tips about applying eyeliner and being confident with it, then please, please let me know. So the next bit, I'm going to do my eyelashes. You could put on some fake eyelashes to go over the top. I have got some fake eyelashes with me, but I haven't quite got the hang of putting them, them on yet, so I'm just going to use my own. So then I'm going to use the three different mascaras, so I've got this one, I think this is number seven, I've had it for a very long time, this is Revlon, and I think this one comes from maybe Max Factor, I can't quite remember, so I'm going to just curl my eyelashes first. There we go, and I'm first of all, this is going to be my top layer, then I'm going to put this one on, and then I'm going to do this one. There we go, so that's the mascara bit done, and then we've got the final makeup bit, which is which is lipstick, and then I'm going to go on to do it, letting the letting my hair down and then styling it. So Christine has very long, beautiful hair. My hair is no way as long as hers, but I hope that I can still kind of do a recreation of it with the length that I've got. So these are some of the ones that I've, I've, I've got. So they're all a mix of like number seven and other brands. I'm going to use this pen, no pencil, sorry, from Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm going to use a little bit of gloss as well. I suppose Christine's got beautiful li lips and a beautiful Cupid's bow, which I found out that this bit of the lip is called that because I was watching Misfits salon so I'm going to start off by lining my, my lips and I will fill and then I'll fill them in there we go so that's my lips lined and then I think I'll start off with with this one here I think the color of Christine's lipstick kind of changes a little bit throughout the show <laughs> though I am very curious as to how the actor plays Christine doesn't get it all over the face of the actor playing the phantom when she kisses him in the final 
Blair, but I know it's it's all prosthetics with the phantom's face to make it look deformed, but she still must get loads of lipstick all over it. And now I'm just gonna go over it with the lip gloss and then I'll move on to styling the hair. I really like what I've done today um, I feel I've done an okay job and I hope you feel so as well when it comes to Christine's like retype really tight fringy curls at the sides if anyone's got any tips on doing that I would really love to to hear them so if you've enjoyed this video please hit that like button feel free to subscribe and I will see you soon with another video thank you for watching bye bye bye